Okay, so picture this. In the last 30 years, browsers have looked more or less the same. You know, you've got your row of tabs, your bookmarks, and all that's been good, it's been the normal. There have been companies that have been trying to innovate on this and add new features, but those features just feel cluttered because you never use them, and eventually you go back to Chrome or Safari, something that you're familiar with. Well, that's about to change, because this new browser company from New York started their browser called Arc, and it not only adds on to Chrome's features, it builds a new browser from the ground up, changing the way you use the internet. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna break it down into three sections. What makes Arc different? Why they're actually tricking you into using it? And most importantly, should you use it? Okay, so I'll quit yapping. What makes the Arc browser actually good? Well, I'll show you this. Does this look like your browser? Yeah, no matter how much you try to organize your Chrome tabs, they seem to always look messy. Well, Arc tries to challenge that. So how tabs work in Arc is every time you open a new, a new browser tab, it'll delete in 24 hours. Because if you think about it, how much do you use most browser tabs for? A few minutes, a few hours? Yeah, not that long, so then it'll just delete it. And the tabs you actually wanna save, like your email, your different chats, important documents, you can just pin right up here and organize those into folders. And then to top it all off so that you can have a clear workspace, Arc has a profiles feature so you can organize different workspaces for uh, work, fun, school, or, or anything like that. So then you can always have an organized section and specialized things for whatever you're doing. And then just to top it all off, it has, a, it has an AI button that'll organize all your tabs. So these days I never find myself have to organize my tabs at all, since I always have a clear workspace and I can easily switch profiles. Second thing that's great about Arc is just the quality of life features and how easily they're implemented in. For example, in, if you want to do a Google search, instead of just pressing enter, you can press shift enter, and then the first link on that Google search will open up in a new tab. So then you don't even have to use Google anymore. And then, and then another example is if you want to do command F on a page to search a word on a page, instead of just typing a word, you can type a prompt to ask AI, and it'll be using the words on the page to respond to your question. Or even just having the tab selector on the side instead of on the top, so then you have more vertical scrolling space. All these features in Arc are so small and so subtle, but you only appreciate them once you start using them and you don't have to go out of your way to start using them, which is what makes Arc great, because it's filled with these small features that just, make it, that just make it nice to use. And then once you switch back to something like Chrome, you're just like, where, where do these features go? You're missing them. Huh? It just feels like a core feature in the browser is gone. Okay, so now we know that Arc's good, but that seems a little bit too good to be true, and in a way it is. Next, we're gonna talk about how Arc actually tricks you into using and staying with their browser. Okay, so before we start, we'll have to know a little bit of history about Arc. When Arc started in 2022, it used to be invite only. That means if someone wanted to use Arc, they'd have to get it from a link from another person that already owned Arc. And that made it feel really exclusive. Like you were part of a club that used Arc, and then it made you, and then you were kind of high, higher above everyone else that used Chrome or Safari. And now, of course, like anyone can download Arc from online but it still has a lot of that exclusivity in it. Okay, so one example of this is when you sign up to Arc, you might notice you get this little badge with your name on it. And that's, and, and even though that's a small feature, that's actually on purpose. It's to make you feel that you're part of something. You're part of the Arc group and not like another one of Chrome's min minions. And Arc is sc scattered with these little features like this. For example, they release weekly updates and say every little bug they fix and stuff. Chrome d doesn't do that. It makes you want to stick with Arc, see all the new features, and keeps you excited instead of just a boring old Chrome. And even with things like their Arc YouTube channel, even posting things with their reactions to things and um, and showing their faces and team while, when they're talking about the updates and things, like it just it, it makes you feel like you know them. So so then you want to keep you using. Them. They've even added features like custom icons to Arc. But the trick is how, how you unlock those icons is by sharing Arc with more people, therefore grow, growing their platform. And, and, it, and it really feels like you earn that icon after sharing it with a bunch of people. Okay, so after all that, should you use the Arc browser? And yes, I think you should. Arc is a great browser with a ton of quality of life features that I couldn't even get all of them in this video and you'll really appreciate them after coming from something like Chrome or any other browser. 
And in case you were wondering, I'm pretty sure Arc has some plans soon for ma making money off of this browser, whether it's a premium subscription or something like that. But I don't think they're going to do ads or some, something like that. So yeah, th thank you guys for watching this video and um, uh, stay techy. No, oh, that, that, that. Stupid. I, I need to make a better outro. Okay, bye guys.